Good morning everyone myself Kausar Momin 10th standard subject science science 1 chapter number 9 carbon compounds in the last lecture we studied up to carbon as a versatile element today we are going to discuss about hydrocarbons functional groups and homologous series in the last lecture we took a topic that is line structure and or structural formula in that we have seen the straight line structure which is the chemical formula and all sorry structural formula and molecular formula methane ethane all in like type of all in you can see the last ending three letters that is in so methane ethane propane butane and all we have seen the structural formula and molecular for the same which comes like whenever we are writing this kind of formula structural formula so we can naming at straight chain hydrocarbon now next is about two isomeric compounds with a molecular formula for c4h10 so if you want to make structural formula for c4h10 so how many carbons are over there so there are four carbons so normally we keep four car here the diagram is over here itself still i am making a new diagram for you through that you can understand it very nicely okay so we will see how many carbon atoms are over there four carbon atoms right so 1 2 3 4 now how many hydrogen 10 hydrogen so we have to adjust this 10 hydrogen uh, with tetra valency as comparing with the tetra valency of the carbon atom so how we can complete this tetra valency so you can observe here this one valency one a huh? single line one valency two valency three valency and fourth one this means this is tetra valency so here we can write hydrogen 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 for this carbon 1 2 3 4 hydrogen and hydrogen for this carbon One, two, three, four, hydrogen. Sorry, and hydrogen. For this carbon, one. Now you can observe here there is no line on this side. Okay, we should have not no need to consider this one. Okay, because there is no carbon atom with it. So we can write H H. But when you are writing H over here, so how many uh, bonds are over there? Like is it tetra valency is completing with carbon atom one two three no means here we have to write H okay so whatever uh, roughly diagram I have made that diagram you can observe here four carbon and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hydrogen so same structural formula we can write it in another way also. and that another way is this one you can make it with any way what we have to write we have to show them we are having four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms so you can compare the you can count the card, uh, carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so you can see everywhere the tetra valency is completing for this carbon atom All tetra valency is completing one, two, three, four. For this carbon, uh, carbon one, two, three, four. For this carbon atom, one, two, three, four. For this carbon atom, one, two, three, four. And this is the way which we can complete the structural formula for C four H ten. So we can say this as two isomeric compounds with molecular formula C four H ten. So we can name it as these are the isomeric compounds for c4h10 so if this kind of question is there so if you are making this one then also you will get marks if you are making this one then also you will get the marks okay so we will read the theoretical part for the same two different structural formula are obtained on joining hydrogen atom to these two chains so as to satisfy the tetra valency whatever i have said during uh, drawing the structural formula its tetra valency of carbon atom should be completed it should satisfy with the tetra valency okay the molecular formula both the structural formula is same obviously we made two structure 
n their molecular formula is same four carbon and 10 hydrogen atoms so these are two different compounds as their structural formula are different the phenomenon in which compounds having different structural formula have the same molecular formula is called structural isomerism what is the meaning of structural isomerism the formula which is having same formula for different structure so that type of compound is known as isomeric uh, sorry structural isomerism what is the meaning of structural isomerism the phenomenon in which compounds having different structural formula have the same molecular formula different structural formula and same molecular formula which we have seen the example okay so such type of formula is known as structural isomerism the number of carbon compounds increases further due to the isomerisms observed in carbon compounds the carbon chain which we are going to discuss later on in a straight chain of carbon atoms whereas the carbon chain is a branch chain of carbon atoms so here you can observe that these carbon are straight chain and these carbon are branch chain you can see the branch is opening over here right branches are there and here it is straight so we can name it as also like it it has a straight chain of carbon atoms whereas carbon chain is branch chain of carbon atoms so same thing we are naming with different we are continuing all this theory with the another way another level okay so as we have seen branches then after branch we are naming it as like straight chain and branch okay whereas we can say apart from the straight chain and branch chains closed chain of carbon atoms are present in some carbon compounds so we have seen one straight and one another is branch but apart from that we are having one chain that is closed chain which we are naming it as closed chain so we will see the example for the same also so here we are making a closed chain first of all we will take a compound and that compound is cyclohexane cyclohexane is the compound and its molecular formula is c6h12 now we have to make for the same closed chain what is the meaning of closed chain whenever you are making a straight chain suppose i am making a straight chain for c6h12 then how many carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this comes with the straight chain with that we are making hydrogens and all okay so this comes in straight chain when with the, with the straight chain this carbon compound can we can increase if it is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6. if it is 6 so we can add another one also but while making a closed chain while making a closed chain we cannot add suppose you can observe here cyclohexane ring so can you add another carbon atom with it if you made a closed chain we cannot add see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so this is closed it is closing itself now what we have to add there hydrogens so whenever we are adding hydrogen here also we have to see that the tetravalency should be completed so now for this carbon for this carbon if i am writing h here then how many valency is there so with this carbon okay with 1 2 3 only three valency is there what we want we want one more so we can that add hydrogen over here okay so the same thing is happening over here suppose this is the carbon and with that carbon we are adding two hydrogen why because we need tetravalency you can observe here 1 2 3 4 now its tetravalency is completed okay and what about its hydrogen 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbon atom and how many hydrogen atom 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 so this is the way we have completed this closed chain structural formula for cyclohexane and we can name it as a ring structure of cyclohexane clear if there is a question if hydrogen is getting decreases suppose we are having c6 and h10 
some hexene cyclohexene is there not hexene hexene now here number of hydrogen is decreases so that means name is going to change this is coming with cyclohexene now tell me we are having 10 hydrogen and 6 carbon so these many hydrogen no need or like say 12 hydrogen there is no need for 12 hydrogen now we have to decrease the number of hydrogen so where should we can decrease the number of hydrogen suppose if i am drawing for the same here now one two hydrogen one two hydrogen how many hydrogens are there four then five six seven eight and nine ten what about the one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now tell me, is it completing valency with this carbon atom? Obviously no. So to complete this valency, what we have to do? We have to draw these lines over here, double, double bond. Then here double bond is going to become. Because we have to add this hydrogen atom as well as we have to complete its valency also so we have to make the double bond on this side then its valency is going to complete it 1 2 hydrogen 1 2 hydrogen 1 2 hydrogen 1 2 hydrogen single hydrogen single hydrogen now I can write hydrogen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now for this carbon atom carbon atom 1 2 3 4 for this carbon atom 1 2 3 4 for this carbon 1 2 3 4 okay for this the carbon so you can measure all the carbons for the all the carbons whatever hydrogen over here 2 2 hydrogen we are adding with each carbon now here with one carbon one hydrogen itself only there so now you can measure for this carbon is there any uh, completing its tetravalency so from at this side 1 2 what about the third and fourth so here we have to add one line then it is completing its valency what about this side we have to add one more so it is completing its valency now you can count hydrogen atoms 1 2 3 4 clear we will clear this thing with the another formulas all types of carbon compounds whether straight chain branch chain or cyclic can be saturated or unsaturated this is the explained by the various examples of hydrocarbons this is the table you can observe here now we are dividing in two way saturated and unsaturated so what about saturated first of all we see with straight branch and cyclic hydrocarbons this one is the straight chain this one is the branch chain in that saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons is distributing so what about saturated with saturated all types of in is coming saturated hydrocarbons all types of in okay like propane isobutane cyclobutane hexane all these things all in are with saturated hydrocarbons whether it is straight branch or cyclic in saturated hydrocarbons all types of in will be there suppose with a straight chain we have to make a right a structural formula for propane how many hydrogen atoms are there in propane 8 how many carbon and uh, carbon is there 3 so we have to write 3 carbon 1 2 3 and amongst with we have to adjust 8 hydrogen atom so you can observe here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 clear now next when we are writing with unsaturated so in unsaturated hydrocarbons all types of in and ion will be there like propene propyne here number of hydrogen carbon uh, sorry number of uh, hydrogen atom is decreases 
सपोज यू आर एट नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व यूर सिक्स एंड फोर नंबर ऑफ कार्बन इज सेम बिकॉज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एज वी हैव डिस्कस प्रीवियस ऑल्सो वेन द नेम इज गोइंग टू चेंज देन नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज ऑल्सो डिक्रीजिंग ओके विथ इन सिक्स एंड विथ आइन इट इज फोर नाउ इफ यू हैव टू एडजस्ट द स्ट्रक्चरल formula for protein. So how many carbon atoms are there? Three. So we are adjusting three carbon atoms. One, two, three. Wait, I'll show you how to adjust this. Suppose we are making a chain for protein. So how many carbon atoms? Three. So one, two, three. Now we have to adjust hydrogen atoms. How to adjust hydrogen atom? How many hydrogens are there? Six. So I am making six hydrogen atom. One, two. थ्री फोर फाइव एंड अनदर वन इज सिक्स नाउ वेर शुड वी हैव टू राइट सिक्स हाइड्रोकार्बन इफ आई एम राइटिंग सिक्स ओवर हियर नाउ फॉर दिस कार्बन आइटम इट्स टेट्रा वैलेंसी इज कंप्लीटिंग वन टू थ्री फोर फॉर दिस कार्बन टेट्रा वैलेंसी इज कंप्लीटिंग थ्री फोर फॉर दिस कार्बन आइटम इज द टेट्रा वैलेंसी इज कंप्लीटिंग और नॉट टेल मी One and two. Is it completing? If I am making a bond here, single bond. So whether it is completed or not. So one and two. Two itself only. And this one is the three. Now what about other one? So to adjust that, we have to write. We have to write this way. Now tell me how many hydrogen atoms? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now for this carbon, four valencies is there. For this carbon, is it there four valencies completing? No, because one, two, three only is there. What we have to do? We have to make a another bond. Okay. Here it will be double one. Now count down the its valency for carbon. One, two, three, four. Now here one, two, three, four. Here one, two, three, four. Hence its valency tetra valency is completed and our structural formula is also ready with C three H six. So hence we are making double bond here. Clear. Now next for propyne, what is the formula? C three H four. Now I am making three carbon atoms because C three is there. And how many hydrogen atoms are there? Four. So what I have to do? First of all, what we have to do? We have to add hydrogen here and here. Okay. If I am making hydrogen here and here, now two hydrogen we have added. What about the another one? Suppose either you can make on left hand side or you can make on right hand side. Suppose in this given right hand side uh, hydrogen they are added. Now I am adding with left hand side. Suppose I am adding here H and H. Okay. Now what about the another thing? See here tetra valency is completing. Okay. Now what we have to do with this one? We have to add the bond with Triple bond should be over here, not here. This way. So whenever we are considering propyne, triple bond will be there, and whenever you are considering propene, double bond is there. So this is about straight chain hydrocarbons. Now next is branch chain hydrocarbons. So same branch chain means we have to branch with the carbon. Suppose we have written over here with a straight chain. Here we are making a branch with the carbon. How to make branch with carbon? Suppose I have to write four carbon atoms. So one, two, three, and I am making branch with the carbon atom. 
okay so now we have to add the hydrogen atoms how many hydrogen atom 10 hydrogen atoms okay so 1 2 3 now 3 hydrogen atom i am writing over here now one hydrogen is here one hydrogen is here one hydrogen is over here one hydrogen is here this way the branch is completed so you can observe here the branch I am not having that much space. You can draw this in your book. You have to draw this in your book and you have to understand it. And if still you are not getting it, so please uh, give me a message personally. I will show you how to draw all these things. Okay. Now next isobutylene. This comes in unsaturated. As I told you, or lean, in and iron will be with unsaturated and all in will be with saturated hydrocarbons c4h8 now here what we have to make branched we have to make a branch for the same so now we will make branch for c4h8 how many carbon atom we are having four so with four we are making the branch this way we can make a branch okay with carbon itself i am making a branch clear how many carbon atoms now we have? I have this one, two, this one is three and this one is four. So with carbon atom itself I made branch. Now I'll add hydrogen atom. How many hydrogen atoms I have? Eight hydrogen atoms. So I am making eight hydrogen atoms. Here one, two, three. And this one is the fourth valency. Okay. Now here. 1, 2, 3. So, and this one is the fourth valency. Okay. Now, for here, 1, 2. I can write third one over here, but don't need, uh, there is no need of hydrogen atom. What we need now, 8 hydrogens are completed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, now here the valency is not completing here itself. That is That means 1, 2 and this one is the 3. What about tetra valency? We have to add the one bond here. So, it is going to become with the double bond. Okay. So, you can observe that structure over here. Next is cyclic hydrocarbons. Now, here also with saturated in is there C, cyclohexane and with unsaturated we are taking in, hexane, cyclohexane or benzene, okay. So, suppose as we have seen this C6H12, already we have seen, here cyclopentane we have to make 5 carbon and amongst that we have to write the hydrogen. You have to see its fourth valence, uh, like tetra valency should be completed. One, two, three, four. Suppose I am making C5H10 cyclopentane. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can observe here one, two, three, four, five. Now I have to add 10 hydrogen. So 1 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen. I am not writing its name. You have to write. Okay. 1 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen. 4 hydrogen has completed. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this way we are completing a structural formula for cyclopentane. So this we can say it as cyclic hydrocarbon. Okay. Now next is for benzene C6H6. How many carbon atoms are there? 6. So if I will mix 6 carbon atom. 1, 2. Wait a second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this one is the 6 now how many hydrogen we have to adjust we have to adjust 6 hydrogen now we are having 6 carbons with that we can add 6 hydrogen 1 hydrogen 2 hydrogen 
थ्री हाइड्रोजन फोर हाइड्रोजन फाइव हाइड्रोजन एंड सिक्स हाइड्रोजन सॉरी नाउ इज द बैलेंस इज कंप्लीटिंग विथ एवरीवेयर नो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर दिस स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला सो टू एडजस्ट द बैलेंसी वी आर मेकिंग डबल बॉन्ड एवरीवेयर सो दैट मीन्स आई शो यू वाइल काउंटिंग वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर सो एवरीवेयर वी शुड हैव टू एडजस्ट दी इफ वी आर नॉट हैविंग नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन्स टू satisfy with the tetra valency so we should have to increase its bond so if you are increasing the bond hence there should be satisfaction for valency okay so this is the table which we have seen which we studied for structural formula with respect to saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons which you have to write in your notebook you have to draw all the diagrams twice thrice then you can understand very nicely okay this is the part of your homework still if you are not getting this structure then you can ask me now next is functional groups in carbon compounds up to now we have seen hydrocarbons and all that means with carbon hydrogen we have taken only now next with this theory we are going to discuss about another than carbon also another than hydrogen also we can take another compounds so what kind of compounds which name we can give it so all these things we are going to consider in this theory and the name of the topic is functional group in carbon compounds till now you have learned about hydrocarbon compounds formed by combination of elements carbon and hydrogen many more types of carbon compounds are formed by formation of bonds of carbon with another elements such as halogens oxygen nitrogen sulfur like as we have seen up to carbon is going to pair with hydrogen itself only so that is carbon compound we are naming it as now there is another study with that another study carbon can bond with another elements also and the elements are halogens oxygen nitrogen and sulfur okay the atoms of these elements substitute one or more hydrogen atom in the hydrocarbon chain and thereby tetra valency of carbon is satisfied that means if we are making the structural formula with halogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur that time to complete its tetra valency we can add hydrogen over there with carbon okay then its tetra valency is satisfied the atom of the element which is substitute for hydrogen is referred as hetero atom instead of hydrogen we are using a substitute like the atom of element which is substitute of hydrogen instead of hydrogen whatever atom we are using that is referred as hetero atom what is the meaning of hetero atom the substitution of hydrogen that is called as hetero atom sometimes hetero atoms are not alone but exist in the form of certain groups hetero atoms are not a single atom they exist with the groups we will see with the table the compound acquires specific chemical properties due to these hetero atoms or groups of atoms that contain hetero atoms irrespective of the length of the nature of the carbon chain in that compound therefore these hetero atoms or group of atoms containing hetero atoms are called functional groups all these hetero atoms we are naming it as functional group because they work with the group so now we will see with the table all this theory part here is the free valency for the functional group is indicated by a short line see whatever short line you can observe here this these short lines are for they are indicated functional group the functional group taking place hydrogen is joined 
to the carbon chain with this valency all this theory you can clear with the structural formula when we are making a structural formula that time you can understand it very nicely okay the carbon carbon double and triple bond are also recognized as a functional group if you are making carbon carbon double or triple bond so they are recognized as a functional group okay so here we are having hetero atom and their functional group so what type of hetero atom is there first is halogen in the halogen we are having three one is chlorine bromine and iodine chlorine bromine and iodine so name halo means chromo with this three combination we can take halo or in each if you want to read then it is chromo bromo and iodo so here structural formula for halo bromo bromo and iodo so single line shows to us group formation and its condensed structural formula is this one all these things we will clear with their structural formula if you want to understand now so please concentrate what are the things we will clear all these things with the structural formula but keep it in your mind that chromo means what is chromo cl bromo is br iodo means i halo means x so whenever you are writing their structural formula the the small line should be there with that and that after that line we can add the carbon okay now next is first hetero atom is oxygen name is first alcohol with alcohol with oxygen okay with oxygen if you are writing h o h so o dash, dash o dash h is alcohol this is the structural formula for alcohol dash o and dash h and condensed structural formula is dash o h next is aldehyde we have to learn all these things huh? alcohol aldehyde ketone all the structural formula for aldehyde dash c dash h and double bond with o means with everywhere oxygen is added that is why hetero in the hetero atom we are taking uh, oxygen like oxygen is o here so with ch our oxygen is there and we can write cho the name of cho the aldehydes structural formula is cho if the cho is there that means it is aldehyde and its structural formula is this way we can write because we have to complete this tetravalency that is why double bond with the oxygen okay now next is ketone for ketone it is dash co dash and if you want to make a structural formula then it will be double bond for the oxygen now next carboxylic acid that is c double o h if you want to write with structural formula then dash c dash o dash h and double bond with the o all the time double bond is with oxygen now next is ether dash o dash o sorry dash o dash now ester c double o so obviously we have to make a double bond with oxygen single oxygen so all this we have you have to learn there is no another way what to do how to do and how to remind you have to learn this structure you have to make a practice again and again you have to learn this structure okay nitrogen in the nitrogen this nh2 so nh2 this is the structural formula clear and name of nh2 is amines and in the amines we are taking nitrogen so here is a table some functional groups in a carbon compounds you have to learn this this is also a part of your homework which you have to learn and write today we will stop our lecture over here whatever homework i have given you please do it in your homework or homework book and send me if you have any doubt related this structure you can ask me any time thank you